Papua New Guinea has a six-tier rugby league program from the mini-mod level, schools level, all the way to the Kumuns level. Papua New Guinea's premier competition is the Intercity Cup competition and all the children playing at the mini-mod and the schools level will aspire to play in the Intercity competition if they are to make the Hunters or the Kumuns in the future. The Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League chairman Sandy Saka says the PNG RFL and Papua New Guinea National Rugby League competition, the PNG NRLC, are working to build the intercity competition to a premier competition in the country. Over the last three years, uh, uh, I think the PNG RFL, in partnership with the PNG NRLC uh, board led by Chairman Adrian and uh, with Stanley and Saku and the team at the uh, PNG NRLC competition, uh, we we try to build a competition up to a premier uh, national competition in the country. Since PNG RFL took over PNG NRLC, a governance structure was introduced, and it has worked well. And slowly, standards are improving. So while the, we've set up the governance and the management structure for the growth <coughs> of the game, to actually grow the quality of the game requires substantial investment to improve the standards of the game. But to improve the game, coaches and trainers need to be on par with the standard practices and NRL in Australia and their PNG office with PNG RFL have done their part to certify a huge number of coaches and trainers. We've invested substantially in our coaches and referees training program. Across PNG in the last three years, we've got about 780 certified coaches and trainers for rugby league. With the training, the coaches and trainers are passing on the skills throughout the country, a positive step for rugby league in Papua New Guinea. Coaches and trainers go out to their respective leagues, clubs and competitions and pass on the skills, the necessary skills that are required to improve the game. Fidelis Sukina National, MTV Sports.